All right, chickens for you. It's gotta be China. Okay, no offense to China, but they literally eat everything there, which is good in a way. It's like no waste, but like, eh, yuck. Okay, actually, I want you guys to let me know if any of these foods that come up today that you've eaten, then we'll try them. Black pudding. <gasps> no. See, I nearly tried this, right? I went to this fancy ass restaurant for my work dinner and I was like, oh yeah, like I'll get adventurous. I accidentally did eat deer meat. I like thought it was steak and I'm not really a big steak eater, but I like ate it anyway. And turns out it was deer meat. But anyway, black pudding came out and I went to eat it and then they told me what it was and I was like, Ugh. Yuck. There's also like another black sausage, I think it is, and it's like pig's blood soaked in like pig's meat. So it's like a sausage. It's so gross. I don't know who would want to eat this. <gasps> These are pets. These are, this is something out of a horror film. There was this like creepy train like film back in the day where like all they had to do was eat rats. Like who on earth? That is not appetizing. I'd, uh, yuck. While many Americans keep them as fairy pets, those in South America use them for food. They are said to be better for the environment and taste like a combination of pork and rabbit. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of crazy that we think like eating cows and <laughs> normal and then we see something out of the ordinary. Try it. This looks like pasta. Psych! You thought! There's actually a cheese. If any of your cheeses say they have reddit in it, it's normally like like a creamier cheese. That's actually the, the inner lining of a baby cow's stomach and that's how they get the creaminess, so yuck. Tripe is the inner lining of a cow's stomach. It's incredibly chewy and would be eaten infrequently due to its high cholesterol, but it's not because you know it's cow's gut. Yeah, look out for Reddit in your food. It's the same thing, it's just a baby cow's stomach. It's disgusting. Disgusting! Fried rattlesnake. Well, I don't really give two mm. shits about snakes, so like, eat them all you like. But that is so gross. I don't understand how the poison thing works there. Fried. Cooked and placed in front of you on a table might make you sick to your stomach. Regardless, people still eat chew uh, chewy reptile food in America. Ew. Ah! They look like a bodybuilder's legs. Looks like all these boys have been to gym and now they've been skinned alive and now they're on someone's plate. That is disgusting. I'm sorry. This is so gross. Let's hop on over to Ambulance Friends, shall we? I just like mumbled that word because I didn't know how to say it. <laughs> A delicacy in France and China, I thought it was France, in China, frog legs are usually deep fried and are said to taste like chicken. But they're also frog legs, so we're gonna give that, we're gonna leave that there. Oh no. Why does this look like an eyeball? Century eggs. What is a century egg? Do we wanna know what a century egg is? I don't think we wanna know. What is wrong with people? We've got enough options. Yeah, see, I've never eaten snail, I can't. Yeah, it's a French for snail. Um, and while it's fairly common knowledge, it's still pretty crazy that people eat these things. Low on fat and high in net. Oh, I thought it was gonna say tasty. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty gross, but I have had friends that have tried them and said it's all right. I used to play with snails as a kid. I was that kind of kid that would like, yes, it's raining. And they go outside and either pick up the snails off the like pavement so they didn't get crushed. Or I would um put them in a tank and like race them. I even used to race slugs, but like just the thought of eating them is kind of like turns my stomach. They're so slimy. Sagal Delight, a starch from certain palm trees. I don't understand, it's just palm tree. I mean, I'm only really weirded really out with the meat ones. I could live if it was like a palm tree in it. Like that's not too bad. Shark fin soup, so this one's more sad. Wow, you wouldn't even know that it's like got shark in it. The horrible thing with this is like when they um get the sharks, they don't use the rest of the sharks. So they're like, shark populations are going down hence, but they like chop off the, the fins and then just chop the, the shark back in to die. It's really horrible actually. Considered a delicacy by some and a nightmare to others. Excuse me? Shark fin soup is bland and uses broth and a variety of soups. Extremely expensive and mostly found at weddings, business bouquets and bottom of the bucket. Mmm, this one's very expensive. It's very bad. Like, I'm pretty sure. It's Japan that that's a thing because they love their seafood. <laughs> Starfish! This is China. It has to be. I know China eat bugs, which is weird. <laughs> Aww, poor little starfish. What do, they, what do they do to deserve this? Dinners in Japan, however, consider starfish a delicacy. They're usually deep fried and put on a stick like a kebab. Mm. The skin is edible and most of the food has to be scooped up from the... That just like sounds like too much effort to eat. Turtle soup. <coughs> Yuck. Only served in certain parts of the states. Some that could be due to conservation. Or maybe people just realize eating turtle flesh is kind of gross. <laughs> Maybe. This looks like mushroom, not gonna lie. A muktuk. Eaten in northern Canada and Alaska, muktuk is straight from a whale's skin and blubber. This is so gross. Steak tartare. People who, who like their meat well done and want to run away from the steak tartare because it's not cooked at all. <gasps> Ew, that's right. It's cow meat that is raw form. See, I can stomach the idea of like raw salmon, but I could not stomach this. This is fu ugh, ugh. I remember like I bit into a burger once that like the meat patty wasn't properly cooked and it was disgusting. Disgusting! Pickled egg. Why the frick is that like a beetroot? It looks like a beetroot. Pickled eggs are hard boiled eggs 
preserved in brine or vinegar. Many used to poke the egg before putting in the solution, but this water considered dangerous to humans. Most people, the eggs are left in. Ew! Yuck! I will stick to my salmon, rice, and vegetables every single day before this. Shirokara, it's gotta be Japanese, is a Japanese dish. <laughs> combined every worst nightmare into one recipe. This food, if we're being loose with our definitions, is a collection of marine animals like squid meat, chopped up and sliced, fermented in organs. It is said to be such a weird taste that even the native Japanese struggle with it. Why even eat it? Why? I can, I can understand if times were tough. I don't know, I don't know how to say that. <coughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> also known as coin, corn smut is a Mexican delicacy. In the simplest of terms, it comes from fungus grown on corn and it looks like large white stones. But then you gotta remember that like, uh, mushrooms are just like fungal as well. Bats, well that's a good way to get yourself rabies. I've seen Cujo, we all know not to go there. In Asia and the Pacific Islands, bats are considered the chicken of the cave and can be cooked in many different ways from a variety of meals. However, they're dangerous to, they're dangerous to eating bats and it's tied to neurological disease, but we're thinking that's the first reason that's pretty much rabies, yeah. Bats look so cute. I don't know about you guys, but do you find bats cute? This looks like insects. Most Americans enjoy a nice potato chip sack or maybe some peanuts, but in Korea they snack on something else entirely. They call it Beyond Diggy. I'm probably saying that wrong. But it's also known as deep fried silkworm. Mmm. Nothing they snack like a nice handful of silkworms. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys, or you are getting a handful of silkworms. <laughs> You're gonna wake up and I'm just gonna have a handful of silkworms waiting for you there. Right there. I will force you to eat them. Like what and subscribe. The sashi. This sliced and diced red delight is delicious. Is a delicacy from Japan called basashi. While it might look like cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving dinner. Can't relate. I'm Australian. It's actually raw horse meat and unfortunately for everyone you don't cook it. Ew. I thought you can't eat raw meat. This is like baffling. Things are about to get a whole lot weirder. Shirako is another delicacy in Japan. Served raw or cooked, it means white children. Most people considered it as a acquired taste. Oh yeah, that's because it's a male cod spam. I knew it! <gasps> but I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to be that person. Like, it kind of, I kind of thought pudding first, not gonna lie, but yuck! <laughs> I'm so done with this. Blood clams. Currently banned in China, blood clams are eaten raw, straight out of the ocean. However, this offers a whole new level of gross as they are filled with water, which could potentially give some hepatitis, thyroid, and a... Ew. That's because... Is that because China's waters are that bad, or...? Wasp crackers. They better be eating this and not the actual wasp, because that's so gross. At this point, we've come to realize Japan events some crazy... I thought it was China that was bad. But it's Japan, and I wanted to go there. And now I'm going to be too scared to eat anything that I don't know. It's just raw. At this point, we've come to realize Japan invents some crazy foods to eat. Well, they've done it again. We present a wasp cracker. It is a round cookie with wasp bait. Ew, they got wasps in it. Yuck. That's about sums it up. For all of those people who thought, hey, you know what an Oreo needs? Wasp. Cobra heart. If you want to open the gates to hell, you must eat cobra heart. Six, 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 like something out of Indiana Jones, eating live cobra hearts in Vietnam is brutal sport that they show on television. Mmm, I definitely would want to watch that. There's no cooking or prevention involved. They rip out the beating heart and start eating. Some drink the blood afterwards, yet no wonder f***ing snakes are assholes. I would be an asshole too if you did that. Yuck. Witchery grub. <laughs> Yuck. Native to the Australian. No! I thought Australia was like normal. No. No. This has got to be like natives. Yeah, native to Australian outback is unlikely a witchery gub should end up on the outback steakhouse menu. Mostly common in Australian average. I was going to say aboriginals, fair enough, because I used to eat off the land and like there's not really much to eat in Australia if you were just living in the bushland. I don't know how they do it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Mostly common in Australian aboriginal diet, they're stro uh, squiggling worms that can be cooked or eaten raw. They're rich in protein and nice and... Okay, can we just leave it at juicy, please? It's so big. That's got to be like the biggest worm I've ever seen. <sighs> well, guys, we've made it through. Yeah, this is definitely, this has to be the end. Thank God it is the end. I hope you enjoyed this video um, a little more than I did because that actually, I feel so sick. I was hungry before I started this and now I am not. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.